today we're going to be looking at the work of an amazing artist and we're going to be using a tip that he uses all the time in his work that makes it come to life so make sure you stick around to the end of the video to learn everything that he does and how you can use this in your own work what's going on guys how are you guys doing uh hope everyone is having a great day today we're going to be looking at victor Titov. i made a video on him i think that was last week it was really great he's a really good artist and i just started coming back to his instagram profile and then going back and looking at some of his works he's been doing before this style that he's using right now and there's a lot of things a lot of little things that i was able to pick from him and this is actually one of them because i've been noticing you guys tagging me on instagram and i keep seeing uh this same thing within all the works that you guys tag me on and i feel like it's something you can improve on as a matter of fact uh since everyone is probably on instagram uh you guys should just leave a comment down below with your instagram handles i'll just go on your instagram page and give you a shout out take a look at your instagram page and i'll like a couple of your posts the ones i really love leave comments and then i'll give you a shout out on my instagram story so make sure you leave a comment down below with your instagram handle so yeah for those of you who don't know victor Tatov, he's a really amazing artist i made a video on him last week which was this one but today we're not looking at any of those we're actually going to be looking at this particular image now these images have something in common you can feel the textures of the skin you can feel there's something about the skin there's something about the color that just makes the uh that makes his work come to life especially this one it just comes to life it feels like it's actually someone you're looking at so i'm going to show you how he does this how he achieves this is really really it's really easy it's something anyone can do everyone can do this so all right so i've already brought in some of his paintings and if we just take a look at his work you can see that it looks like there's a lot happening right now there's so much going on here but actually it's just a grayscale image that he converted to color and how he did this is by painting in all these different color variations in the image so he actually has one layer where he has this which is the grayscale and then he creates another layer and probably puts it on multiply and then in that layer he paints in different color variations so you can see this is a different color these are all different color variations you can see a mix of different colors there's green blues blacks different variations of the color so now this gives the image an extra an extra amount of form amount of value that you will think is coming from a lot of painting and over painting on this but it's just he's he just does this on the flat colors and it's very very easy let me show you another example so this this is the line art for this and then he has this which is just a flat simple color shape a blocking for where he's going to start painting and then on his next image he now starts painting it but as you can see he's not just painting just flat colors he's actually painting he's actually painting with color variations in mind you can see in the ear that there, there are other colors there because blood actually goes through the ear so he's just making use of some of these color variations you see purples you can see some purples here a little bit of grays in the neck and then for the highlights he has his blues greens and all that and then some color variations for the lips too and all this place you can see he's not just using just one color and then after all this he now paints in his shadows and then renders the image to a complete full stop like this now if you do this in your work it is going to take it's going to push your work further especially when it comes to rendering and painting human beings painting faces all that this is something you really need to be doing i wasn't even doing it before i was doing it after a fact after i've rendered my image and then i'll start playing around and try to edit all these colorations that i could have done at the beginning so we're going to look at this final image from him and before i'll show you how you can do this by yourself so this is the main base 
paint but let's take a look at the line art so this is the line art of a character and after that he painted in he painted in the flats and if you take a look at these flats you can see that it's not just his skin tone so this is the guy's skin tone but he's not just painting in the skin tone he's painting some color variations in the ear and some color variations in the nose too so these are places where blood usually shows on caucasians and for black people we usually don't get uh, as much coloration as this sometimes you won't even get colorations at all but for caucasian skin you can always paint in this and then you can see some more coloration on the forehead where is yellow now these are known as color zones of the face i've actually made a tutorial on this if you look to my uh gallery on my youtube channel there's a video called how to paint a face how to color a face i've talked about all these color zones in that tutorial so you can always go back and watch that tutorial and then on the head you can see it's painted it's a little bit gray because the when um when someone has a really low uh close cut to the head you won't just have skin tones there it will have a little gray desaturated color there so you can see that and then uh of course the beard the eyes and every other thing now let's see how this will look when he has put in some shadow bam you see how that just takes the work from this to just this with just a few shadows and there's no there's not really any more other strokes that he added he just added in his shadows probably on a multiply layer and it just took this simple this simple flat color to looking like this and then of course he now painted in some more uh highlights pushed in the shape some more and then pretty much brought the image to kind of a final touch now this is something you definitely need to be doing in your images if you want them to kind of feel more feel like there's life in the characters this will go well especially for painting characters you can see he actually uses some textured brushes i think i shared some of these brushes in my brush pack not the exact ones he's using but similar brushes so you might want to use some texture texture brushes as well you can see uh on the nose the beard there's all different textures so let's see how we can actually do this in our own work and i'll just use a black and i'll just draw a basic face of ken lafferty here i don't know who that is but a funny guy and a nose and give him a mouth here Ooh, pow probably do that oh sad guy all right so as we have that next i'm going to just paint in a basic skin tone and then after doing that i'll now paint in the uh, color separations that you kind of want to be doing so uh this is just going to be very basic nothing really exciting here i know some of you will probably be expecting one I'm probably be expecting some amazing lighting i'm not doing any of that here i'm just painting in the basic face so don't expect too much from me please i'm human as well i make mistakes all the time the difference is i just try my best to learn from my mistakes and move forward in life and i don't let my mistakes hold me back never no regrets ever at all <laughs> all right so as you can see you already have your basic face now what you want to do is just start thinking of the color variations that you want to add so let's say for the nose we'll just add a little mix of brown in it and i'll just use i'll just use uh i'll just use this brush so i'll use a brush that everyone should have if you don't have this brush pack i made a video where i shared the brush pack you can just check that out and download it it's free and just do that then i'll add a little bit of color to the ears as well a little bit around the eyes 
and then i'll just give him a nice stubble area so it'll look like granddaddy here uh then we kind of do that and then i'll just erase a little bit from here all right now as you can see it's just a pretty basic face but now when i start doing my shadows i'll create this on a multiply layer now when i start painting in the shadows you're going to see how that is going to look so i'll just use this i'll just use a hard brush and just paint in the shadows uh a simple light setup from the top it's making the character look more solid like you can feel the forms of his face you can feel like he's actually uh, just pretty much something basic like that so uh let's see if i can I do that one yeah so now take a look at how this character looks without the colorations you can see he just looks really flat looks basic like there's no there's not a lot of dimension going into his face but once you add in all the colorations you can see how it just adds more character to a simple image and just makes it look it just pushes the realism depending on the technique you're using for drawing it just pushes the realism of the character a little bit further and pretty much brings the character to life so this isn't this this took me just i mean you guys watch me do it so it's not something that's so difficult that it should take a lot of your time so you need to always be doing this in your works it will just really 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 push your character some more just adding in a little bit of all these colorations around the eyes the skin tones adding in some stubble on his beard area is really really going to push your characters to the next level so make sure you attempt this in your spare time and if you upload it on instagram don't forget to tag me and don't forget to tag our really amazing fantastic artist victor title because he's really really putting out so much knowledge in his works and i'm just glad i can be able to learn from him and share it with you guys so hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and learned something from it share it with a friend subscribe to my youtube channel if you're new here and i will definitely see you in the next video peace out super I'm feeling really good today. Today is today feels really, 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 really good. I'm just in a really good mood today. I don't know why. And I woke up late, but I'm in a really good mood. Wow, I feel I feel pumped. Maybe it's all the rice I ate last night before I slept. Maybe. But I just feel I feel like I have a lot of energy for for today. For for today, there's a lot of energy in my body. I just feel I feel excited. By the way, do you guys like my hat? I actually haven't turned the hat to the front since I started filming all these videos. So this is what the front looks like. What do you think? Do you like the hat? It's a really nice hat. I don't know. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think about the hat. I really love this hat. I'm planning on making a bunch of hats like this with uh, a design of mine in front. And I have this line that has really stuck with me for a while since I've been doing work. So I'm going to have that line here. And I feel like it's something that's going to connect with a lot of you because most people that watch my videos, I feel have a certain, we share something similar. And that is what I'm going to write right here. Yeah. So don't worry. You see the design pretty soon. I'll, 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 I'll have one done and put it on. But yeah. How are you guys doing today? Hope everyone is having a really great, fantastic week. Uh, so yeah, some of you have been asking, I've been seeing some comments, uh, my biceps, about my biceps, uh, you have, you look, you look good. I love your body, uh, guns, 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 biceps. And someone actually wrote a comment asking, 
about my diet, what I eat to maintain my physique, uh, what workouts programs do I use, what workout routine do I use, and I feel like I should make a vlog on that. I should make a video on that. Is that something you guys are interested in watching? If that is, just let me know down in the comment section below. I'll definitely be willing to just do a video, do a vlog, show you guys uh, kind of how I, my mentality to training and drawing, just merging everything together. It's pretty much basic as I'm following a bodybuilder routine, but I'll just uh, pretty much just make a video and tell you guys more about it so let me know down in the comment section if that's something you're interested in i don't know i don't know you guys let me know you guys just let me know